Right then, so just finished me monitoring for the day, so back to this. So that was a question for you, Lot. And then the next page is just one more question that we'll get out of the way. So it says numerical integration problem solving. So it says the speed of a jet aircraft was measured every five seconds, starting from the time it turned onto the runway to the time it left the ground. The results are given there. So estimate the length of the runway. Okay. So you know <laughs> the distance is speed times time. So I can use this information to actually work out or the area under a speed time graph. It's a distance, so I can use the, air, the, the information to work out the distance travelled. So I'm going to use the trapezium rule to do this. So this is my first. This is my last. And these are my rest. It's going up in fives. So A. So I'll use a trapezium rule. Um, so it's going to be 5 over 2 first plus last plus 2 times the rest. There. So that gives us about 415 meters. Okay, so that's okay, that's done. Ding. And that's dinged. So then it says, given that the jet accelerated smoothly in these 25 seconds, explain whether your answer to part A is an underestimation or an overestimation. So I guess if you drew it, if you look, these are going, if you look at the, the difference between the speeds, it goes up in the same five second intervals. It goes up by three, it goes up by five, it goes up by eight, it goes up by 10, it goes up by 14. So if you can imagine the shape of that as a graph, it's kind of like that. So if I was to do a trapezia on that shape, Pen's not quite lining up properly. You can see that it's above the level, above the curve. So we're going to say it's an overestimation. I Meaning you could graph these values and see what they look like. If you don't believe me, but we're going to say it's an overestimation. Overestimation. That's the top of the trapezium. is above the curve there. That's about it, isn't it, really? Uh, yeah, that's all right. I think that's about it. Really, does it tell us to do anything else? I don't think it does. Although, the, they've got answers for more, though, so that's a lot. Make sure I've not done it. So, no, that'll do us. What they've done is they've worked it out again with the rectangles, and they've got 315 for it. So, with the rectangles, you get 315. Get a 315. But in this case, like for the for the graph this time, if I use a rectangle, it's an underestimation of it. This is an underestimation. That's the top of the rectangles. Rectangle is below the curve. I think this is like a new question that was added. I've not seen this one before. Then we've got shed loads of consolidation questions and probably some exam questions because it's the two bits together. And then we're done. Well done, everybody. Twin, little, oh, little vids, remember, little vids. Not too bad.